from getting diagnosed with dementia and aphasia to getting harassed by the paparazzi as he suffers. This is what Bruce Willis had to say about his tragic health condition. Now, the first diagnosis came back in 2022, and it really was a tough announcement for the Willis family. They shared that the iconic action hero had been diagnosed with aphasia, a condition that made it difficult for him to communicate and process language. In their statement, his family shared that the condition affected Willis's cognitive abilities and made it challenging for them all. They were grateful for the love and support they received from fans during this trying time. As a family, they were sticking together and doing their best to support each other through this tough journey. They wanted to keep fans updated because they knew how much Willis meant to them and how much fans meant to him. It was honestly heartbreaking to see someone so beloved face such a difficult situation, and his family was shattered. It was heart-wrenching, especially to learn that Bruce Willis's wife, Emma Hemming Willis, had to go through so much while caring for the actor after his diagnosis of aphasia. In August 2022, she shared her struggles on Instagram, revealing how paralyzing her grief can be, but she was trying to learn how to live alongside it. She mentioned how the illness brought them all together, and how her stepdaughter provided her comfort by saying that grief is the deepest and purest form of love. Unfortunately, that was just the beginning of a very long journey for them. Soon after that, his health deteriorated. Things took a turn for the worse when Willis was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. This is a condition that can include aphasia and affects one's ability to communicate. His family shared that communication difficulties were just one of the symptoms that Bruce faced. And obviously, watching Bruce, who used to be so full of life, struggle like it was extremely painful for everyone involved. But it was also a relief for them to finally have a clear diagnosis. And then came the inevitable. Because of his impaired cognition, Willis's family announced last year that he would be stepping away from his decades-long career. And what's horrible is that the signs started coming in early while Bruce was working. Some of his co-workers reported that Bruce Willis had been struggling with frontotemporal dementia and that it was affecting his ability to work. Apparently, he had been having trouble remembering his lines, so he was taking on smaller roles in low-budget action films. According to sources close to him, his health had been declining for some time and wasn't able to take on lead roles in big studio projects. So he and his management team decided to pursue lower budget films, where he could still earn a good amount of money while playing a minor role. It's a shame because Bruce has had such a successful career in Hollywood, with appearances in some really great films. But it's inspiring to see that he was still working hard and filming multiple projects back to back without taking a break, even though it must be really difficult for him. During filming, he had to wear an earpiece through which someone on the production team provided him with lines. It just shows how much of a challenge it is for him to remember his lines, and it's heartbreaking to think about how frustrating that must be for him. The worst part of it all was that the family had to make a lot of tough decisions during this phase. For instance, Bruce even revised his will. Sources close to Bruce have said that he was concerned about providing for his small family, and his will was revised multiple times after his marriage to Emma in 2009 and the birth of their three children. His health deteriorated, which prompted the latest revision to his will, leaving the bulk of his fortune to his current wife and their children. Bruce believed that his older children had already benefited financially from him to the fullest extent possible throughout their lives. What's more, he was confident that Demi, who was worth about $200 million, would support Rumor, Scout, and Tallulah no matter what. It's clear that Bruce's declining health had a significant impact on his decision, and the most recent revision to his will is final. And while he took care of his affairs, his family did their best to give him the best of everything in this tough period. I mean, the family has been on their toes during this time. Emma, his wife, recently shared on Instagram that she met with Tipa Snow, an expert in dementia treatment, to gain more insight on how to care for her husband as his dementia progresses. Emma expressed her desire to add more tools to her caregiving toolbox to help support Bruce as best as she can. Sources close to the couple have revealed that while Bruce has a housekeeper who watches over him, Emma also takes an active role in his care. Given the age difference between the couple, they had anticipated that Bruce would have health problems before Emma, but his diagnosis and prognosis still came as a shock to them. On top of Emma's efforts, Bruce's family has also spoken out about their commitment to supporting him through his illness. The family released a statement via the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration, explaining the nature of the disease and the impact it has had on their lives. They have also expressed gratitude for the outpouring of support from fans and the public, which has undoubtedly provided some comfort during this challenging time. But no matter how much support they get from fans, it's obviously a tough time for them. And it's not just his family, because his friends are also suffering in this. Sylvester Stallone, for example, has been pretty vocal about Bruce's condition. Stallone, who was a close friend and business partner of Bruce, 
also shared some heartbreaking news about their relationship in an interview. Despite being competitors at the box office, Sylvester and Bruce had a strong friendship that spanned many years. However, due to Bruce's diagnosis, Sylvester revealed that they haven't been able to stay in touch like they used to. In fact, Stallone shared that Bruce has been going through some really tough times, and it's been difficult for him to stay connected with his friends. He even mentioned that it's been hard for him personally, saying, that kills me. It's so sad. It's clear that Bruce's health struggles have affected not only his ability to work, but also his personal relationships. And Stallone wasn't the only one to express his sadness over the actor's condition. Many celebrities came forward to offer their condolences. From Christy Swanson to Robert Davey, many stars rushed online to send some nice words to Bruce and his family. While many people were in shock that it happened, others were praying to God for a miracle or a cure. Some kind-hearted souls, including Barbara Crampton and Curtis Armstrong, also sent their love to the family. And in such a hard time, the special event made friends and family even more emotional. Like Bruce's 68th birthday was especially heartbreaking for the fam. I mean, did you see Emma's candid and honest messages on her Instagram account about her husband's frontotemporal dementia diagnosis? On Bruce's 68th birthday, Emma shared a heartfelt message about her feelings of grief and sadness. In a video, she bravely shared her emotional struggles and tearfully opened up about the challenges they were facing. Despite the difficulties, Emma and her family are committed to supporting Bruce through his diagnosis. They have sought expert advice and guidance to help them navigate the journey ahead. And Emma has made it her mission to raise awareness about the impact of dementia on individuals and families. By sharing her story, she hopes to help others who may be going through similar struggles. Emma's vulnerability has resonated with many, and she has been praised for her strength and resilience in the face of difficult circumstances. But there are also some haters who won't let her be. In fact, there are people trolling her left, right, and center. She recently found herself on the receiving end of some hurtful accusations made by an Instagram troll. The troll accused her of exploiting her husband's frontotemporal dementia diagnosis for the sake of gaining a few minutes of fame. This false accusation obviously hurt Emma a lot, who had been doing everything in her power to support and care for her husband through this difficult time. In response to the troll's comments, Emma took to Instagram to post a video in which she vehemently defended herself against the accusation. She made it clear that she was not exploiting her husband's illness for attention or personal gain, but rather using her celebrity status to bring much-needed awareness to frontotemporal dementia and its devastating effects on patients and their loved ones. And Emma isn't the only one tackling meanies. Bruce himself was harassed by the media recently. I mean, it's really frustrating to see how little some paparazzi seem to care about the struggles that he's going through with his recent diagnosis. Even when he's trying to grab a coffee with a couple of friends, they can't seem to resist swarming him and trying to ask him questions. Thankfully, his friends did their best to shield him from the paparazzi's intrusion. It's really sad to see someone going through such a difficult time and then have to deal with the added stress of being hounded by the media. So from getting harassed by the paparazzi as he suffers to getting diagnosed with dementia and aphasia, that's all that Bruce Willis had to say about his tragic health condition.